Welcome to the I Got My Auger Bit Buried and Stuck Club. Hey guys. Well, I'm going to put on my post hole digger. And just I had a brain fart. I took off my uh, box blade. Knew I needed to take off the quick hitch. And um, just proceeded to go ahead and take off my uh, three point stuff. So I just thought I might... Uh, take you along for the ride. Okay, so I've sped this up. I have a video on connecting the um, post hole digger as well as connecting the three-point hardware. Uh, so I just thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about, um, for starters, I'm wearing gloves. So my hands don't get greasy, and then I have to handle my camera. Um, secondly, I'm just taking the opportunity to go ahead and um, squirt some of those parts with WD-40. I, I would like to get me some fluid film. I've heard really good things about that stuff, so I think I'll probably be picking some of that up, and especially using it on my um, mower deck after fall cleanup and before the start of next year so all right putting on the lower link lift arms connecting those i still need to get a lynch pins instead of using those round keychain like connectors or keepers uh, they are a big pain to do especially with gloves on you get, um, again, any little uh, thing that helps speed it up and decrease frustration is, uh, is worth doing. You know, the other thing, uh, as you can see, still have the turnbuckles uh, for the stabilizer arms. I would like to get some of those telescoping ones that Mark Hodges makes. But it looks like he's no longer taking orders. He's um, focusing on his um, ministry as well as a family, it sounds like. So, got to respect that. So, I, I missed the boat on that. Here, I'm uh, connecting the post hole digger. Like I said, there are videos. I've got some videos on connecting and how to store it. Um, Makes it a little bit easier. There's still kind of a pain to uh, to maneuver around. Um, I ended up having to pull forward a little bit there, and then I've got to get the uh, lower arms wide enough. But finally got it. I um, when I put it away, and I don't have any video video footage of this. But since I was I took off my auger bit, which you'll see later. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to store it with just the gearbox on a pallet, um, as well as the uh, attachments there that you see, and store it there, put it in the carport, and we'll see how that goes. It ended up being a little bit more of a pain to do than what I thought it would be. And then next time I go to hook it up, I'm sure I'll uh, regret that a little bit. Um, this actually process of uh, strapping it to a tree actually uh, wasn't too bad, but I was look, looking to try something else. Here I'm hooking up the PTO drive shaft. Figured I'd go ahead and squirt it down with some WD-40. Make sure that the collar, you know, retracts and springs back, and those bearings inside uh, will push up out of the way, so I can. Quickly and easily slide it onto the PTO drive shaft on the tractor. I think I go ahead and squirt it uh, down the shaft there. Um, doesn't hurt. I like to put the PTO um, into the mid mount mower position so that, that rear PTO can rotate. I can rotate it and get it lined up a little bit easier when I do connect it. That's what you'll see here. All right. I think 
think we're ready to punch a hole in the ground. Get that chain, I'll get it fastened so it uh, holds that shield in place. Okay, so we're gonna punch our first hole in the ground. I'm using the nine inch auger bit here. Um, it went right on in, no problems at all. I did find that um, I had to dig it out the rest of the way. You know, this is the auger that came with the uh, postal digger. And because it's, on, it's for a subcompact tractor, you know, you can't have your traditional long four 48 inch uh, augers. You'll end up, um, you know, digging them into the ground. If you back up, you can really, you know, end up putting a lot of uh, leverage on your post hole digger in connections to your tractor. So you can't drive around with those log longer ones on. So uh, Land Pride does have an extension that you can buy but it still was not gonna get me to three feet long. Um, that's what I'd like, is, is something that would, I could get me, get me to three feet down. But anyways, I went ahead and finished out that hole by hand, and um, so that kinda stunk. I started my second hole, and uh, only got down about six inches, and then it just wasn't digging in anymore, so. I swapped out to my six inch auger bit. I thought, well, let me just go ahead and get most of the hole dug and try that out. But um, it, it gave me some problems and I ended up burying it and got it stuck. So I'll, I'll see if I, I think I have some pictures. Let me see what I can find. But first, here's some video footage of just when I was swapping out the auger bit. You know, just pulled those that bolt out. And I just stuck one in that hole there. I uh, used a socket and a wrench. Um, sorry, I, I don't remember what size they were. Um, got it in and then proceeded to just drill right on down and got it stuck. I tried using a pipe wrench, big pipe wrench. Um, to get it out, but that did not do the trick. Here you can see where I did finally get it out. Ended up just having to dig a hole next to it. You know, I tried rocking it, tried digging it out with the little hand shovel there, uh, unscrewing it. None of that worked. I ended up just having to dig it, dig right next to it, right behind it, if you will dig down a good bit, and then I was able to rock it back, and it finally uh, broke free for me. So lesson learned. Using that smaller auger, take smaller bites, you know, clean the hole, lift it out, and uh, just go a little bit slower. But uh, that, that, that where it stopped, I couldn't get the bolts out. Um, they weren't lined up with the holes, and so I was able to take the nut off, but I couldn't slide the bolt out because that shield would be in the way. So it ended up working. If I would have just dug the hole first and uh, worked it out that way, no need to take it off, and I wouldn't have spent as, as much time. But I tried a bunch of different things first, and uh, none of them were successful. So just go ahead and skip straight to the uh, digging a hole next to it to free it out. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you could, to help support the channel, can you hit the like, like button? Also, um, to help support the channel, you can share the video and uh, comment, even if it's a comment to say, hey, I do enjoy reading um, and learn from what you guys uh, share in the comment section. So I appreciate it. Uh, I, you know, I just want to take this time to talk about how YouTube 
became a and you know had a major impact on me being able to watch videos about plumbing electrical building auto repair tractor and equipment maintenance which I'm sure has saved me thousands of dollars so you know I, I this is my way to give back to the YouTube community basically uh, you can find me on Facebook Owen D life as well as email at ondlife at gmail.com and then check out my Amazon store. All the links are in the description below. Stay safe out there. <laughs>